Sonya Deville shows off nasty cut after WWE Royal Rumble match. WWE's current plan for Alexa Bliss after cryptic Royal Rumble angle. Cody Rhodes wasn't fully cleared to compete until day of WWE Royal Rumble. Rhea Ripley suffered injury during 2023 WWE Royal Rumble. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Suhaib and you are watching Wrestling Fact. First update. Sonya Deville made her comeback to WWE television back in January 2020 in an unwrestling role. Fast forward two years, Neville is now an active in-ring competitor, but that's not the only thing she does now. She was also part of the Women's Royal Rumble match and it sees Deville suffered a nasty cut as well. The Women's Royal Rumble match was full of surprises and solid performances by numerous competitors in the match. This included Sonya Deville, who came out as the 27th entrant. Sonya Deville eliminated Indy Hartwell and managed to last a decent amount of time in the match. However, she was eventually eliminated by Asuka after the Empress of Tomorrow hit her with a vicious kick to the head. Following the conclusion of the match, Sonya Deville took to her Instagram and revealed that she suffered a huge cut above her left eye. Deville then proceeded to call herself a beast. Tim a beast pound sign Royal Rumble. Sonya Deville is currently feuding with Charlotte Flair and could be challenging her for the SmackDown Women's Championship soon. We'll have to see how that match will turn out. If anything, Deville needs to heal up after the Royal Rumble. What's your take on this story? Sound off in the comments. Second update Rhea Ripley confirmed during press conference. She injured her knee she spoke about the situation during the post-show press conference. Here is what Rhea Ripley said. I'm obviously beat up. My knees aren't very good in general. Mine needed dislocate for a second, and then it went back in. I'm feeling good now, and because of all my emotions, I'm just excited, so I'm blocking out everything else. If anything, I can smell blood in my nose, and that's definitely there, but my knee is good, said Ripley. Third update WWE's current plan for Alexa Bliss after cryptic Royal Rumble angle. Bliss is undoubtedly one of the biggest stars in the WWE women's division. Her numerous accolades throughout her career have earned Bliss the respect of fans and peers alike. She suffered a crushing loss at the Royal Rumble last night, but it seems that marked the beginning of much bigger things. At last night's Royal Rumble Prime Live event, Alexa Bliss squared off against Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship. It was a very short and uninspiring match for the most part. With a mere seven minutes given to the two women, they were not able to do much. In the end, Bliss lost the match clean. Right afterwards, an Uncle Howdy video began playing. While speaking on Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer talked about Alexa Bliss' loss. Meltzer stated that her loss was just the beginning of her transition into Bray Wyatt's storyline. Code nothing special, Bianca pinned her with her and then we had an Uncle Howdy video and it was over. Obviously. Alexa Bliss and Bray Wyatt are going to get back together in some form in major storyline. The idea is that Alexa Bliss losing clean is part of the transition, it wasn't the final destination. It was really nothing, just a 7 minute match. The match they had on Raw was far better than this one. Even Bray Wyatt is sure something will happen at some point with Alexa Bliss. It remains to be seen whether Alexa Bliss will end up joining forces with Bray Wyatt in the future, but Uncle Howdy is calling her name. After all, fans would love to see her become a part of the rumored Wyatt Six stable. This situation is certain to heat up on the road to WrestleMania, and we will have all the twists and turns right here at Wrestling Fact. What's your take on this story? Sound off in the comments.
Fourth update Cody Rhodes was out of action since Hell in a Cell last year, in an instant classic match against Seth Rollins. The American Nightmare was on the shelf for a long time due to a torn pectoral muscle, but he returned during last night's Royal Rumble. It seems Rhodes wasn't fully cleared to compete until the day of the Royal Rumble. Cody Rhodes made a long-awaited comeback to in-ring action at the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble as the 30th entrant. He ignited the crowd with an electrifying brawl against Seth Rollins, sending waves of excitement through the arena. The return of the American Nightmare immediately heightened the already intense match. Cody Rhodes made his way to WrestleMania by eliminating Gunther. He received cheers from fans worldwide. Rhodes then added emphasis to the moment by pausing to hold up a too sweet before pointing at the WrestleMania sign. While speaking to Ariel Helwani of BT Sport, the American Nightmare revealed that he was not fully cleared to compete in the match until the day of the Royal Rumble Premium Live event. I went to the performance center. I remember I made a joke in the EW about hip toss class, I did a hip toss class. Thank God for it, actually, because I worked with. I won't say one guy's name, because I don't want to blow his spot up, but I worked with Carmelo Hayes. Joe Gacy was the other guy, I don't know why I'm not crediting him. They were rough with me, they were rugged. It let me feel what I need to feel to know where to get. I can't wait for their opportunities to come because they are incredible wrestlers and incredible stars. That experience, I got partially cleared through that. I was able to do what I want, my wind was good, I was training heavily with PT and an off-site team that my wife got for me. I didn't really get fully cleared until today looked good, and everything was great, but they still had to get in there, grab it, feel on it. That's a wild situation, when you've been announced for the Royal Rumble, you've seen your shirts and seen the young fans. I think it was more of a formality than anything, but it still had me kind of shaking. WWE has been very good to me medically, very good. I'll be in PT for the rest of my life, though. I've been there every week and now I have to just do preventive stuff. It changed everything about how I've trained. Cody Rhodes was also WWE's backup plan if The Rock didn't make it for WrestleMania 39. We will have to wait and see whether Cody Rhodes will challenge Roman Reigns for one of his titles or both of them. What's your take on this story? Sound off in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. See you guys in my next video.